So, let's have a fun day, shall we, folks? So, as we know, this is Pokemon Chilling Rain. So, I sold these to patrons, um, what was it, a couple weeks ago? A month ago now? A couple weeks ago. Sold, uh, between the whole thing, I think it was around six, seven hundred boxes. This one particular patron essentially opened a box, said all the packs were resealed, scammed, the good cards were taken out, and the packs were already resealed from the bottom. And he returned the other four boxes because the wrapper's loose, the packs are resealed, everything's tampered with, everything's a scam. So, on this glorious day, let's find out. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this dice right here, and we're going to throw the dice. And if it's one through five, we open the first box. Six through ten, we open the second box. Eleven through fifteen, third box. Sixteen through twenty, we're going to open the fourth box. So that's what we're going to do here today, folks. Three, we're opening the first box. So we're going to open this box, and he claims, even the wrap, see how the wrapper is loose? I know, great print quality. Do I need to get started on the magic wrappers nowadays? So he claims that even the wrappers feel fake, resealed, and suspicious. As you can see, um, I can also tell you all, I've reached out to a lot of patrons and nobody else, many of them did open their boxes. And none of them claim to have any other problems. So we're literally going to come over here with the box, bring it to the filming section, and of course, in good spirits, we got the counterfeit chicken of shadiness. And we're going to set the camera up. And we're set up. We're going to set up the camera. And we're going to crack a box of Pokemon. Because, so I don't expect to see anything. I expect this box to contain no good cards. Right? We all on the same page? Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's get a good look at this box. So, and friendly reminder, a seal like this. I've First of all, I've seen so many box seals where the wrapper's upside down. There's no logos. Logos are backwards. The logos are only on the bottom. Looking at you, wizards. So, this is what the product looks like. I think it looks pretty good. So, here goes nothing, folks. So, let's see here. Any predictions? I want, I'm want. i curious. I wish there was a way to timestamp like people's predictions before we open it all. I'm really curious if people think this is going to turn out to be... Was Rudy scamming? Was he sending counterfeit boxes? What's going to find out today? So, first thing, let's look at the packs. Okay, so let's start off. Let's just pull the first pack right out here. So the bottoms, he says, are resealed. Oops. Okay, I don't see any concerns. Okay, who knows? Let's go for it, shall we? Let's see what we get here. You guys know how long it's been since I've opened some the old Poke Pikachu's? Man, uh, does, does, does Chilling Rain, I, I should, I should do a price check. Does Chilling Rain have a lot of, is there like a, is there a pack trick to this whole thing? Are people doing, I know the circles are common. Like, is there a pack trick to this stuff? I haven't done Pokemon in ages. So I'm assuming commons. Um, oh! Okay, pack one, a fancy, again, you guys have to tell me in the comment section. Tell me if this is a, if this is the worst cards ever or what. So pack one, we're starting off here. Are there still code cards? There are still code cards. Am I supposed to... Um, I don't, I'm not going to show the codes in this because I don't know if this is going to go back to the guy. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. I'm not sure how this case is going to end. So we started off, we got this really cool looking card. There you go. And energy. And then of course the, um, I guess you get, is it a regular rare in the back? Is that all you get? Three uncommons, right? Boy, it's been, I haven't opened a box of Pokemon since probably evolutions, man. It's been a long time. Not exactly the way I was hoping to kind of, uh, crack a, a box of Pokemon, but you know, whatever. So I'm assuming, is, is are they all, are they all like five commons? Four, five commons. Okay, so it's all, oh, so that's a, ooh, that's pretty. Uncommon. Okay, so you can get a reverse uncommon. And that's a rare, right? Yeah, that's a rare. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm a noob, so cut me some slack, folks. And then, so you can, okay, I get it now. So you always get one foil, and it's a different slot. So that one, we have the, the commons in the front. Oh, there's a, fan. oh, that's just a code card, sorry. All right, here we go. Two, three, four, five. So this one we have a foil rare. Card quality is fantastic. Wow, these cards look great. Should I put all the foil? I'm gonna put all the foils in a pile. 
So foil common, the foil on, I guess I don't really need to do any of their piles. I don't think it really matters. I just want to see that the regular rares, we don't really care. I'm going to put all the piles just together. I just want to pull out the foils. So I'm not going to sort them all because I don't, I don't want to spend a lot of time in this video. We just want to see what the results are. That's all we really care about. We're going to put all the foils. So essentially we're going to do that. So we're going to do this. So we're going to have a pile here. We have our foil uncommons, the kind of the foil rares and the foil fancy schmancies. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, so far I'll be on, oh wait, he says the bottom of the packs. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me do the bottom of the packs. So the bottom of the packs are easier to open than the tops. It feels slightly easier. Do I think this is, actually this is, this could be a really good box, folks. So, two, three, four, five. So, okay. So, wow, you can get common? Full commons, really? So, okay, there's a full common. And um, there's a non foil rare and nothing else in the pack. Okay. So, actually, per his request, since he says the bottoms were the tampered with stuff, well, let's open them all from the bottom. Sorry, I'm left handed, so it's a little tougher for me to open packs in the bottom. So, the bottoms are easier to open. Than the tops, that is true, but not to the point where the cards are falling out. But again, I've seen many boxes over the years that can have all kinds of silly... Ooh, that's... Wow, these card quality is fantastic. These things are really nice. I'm very surprised. Like, really? Pokemon card quality has really come this... These are really good card quality. Holy smokes. How come Pokemon card quality has gone up and Magic card quality has gone down? So is this normal or good or bad box, folks? Are we... Is this a better... I... Give me some feedback. What can I expect here? Ooh, that is nice. Look at the subtle. Look how nice the foiling and subtleness looks. Like, that looks really nice, man. These, golly. I had no idea the Pokemon cardstock was this good. We are doing them upside down. And yes, a little easier to open. But I'm left-handed, so for me, it's a little bit more, a little bit more on the floppy side to actually try to crack these things. And we got a, I really like those reverse, the way they really look. <laughs> Wheezing. I can definitely, you know, I was never really a big fan of the Pokemon single market. Obviously, Vintage played as a kid, as every other kid did. But, you know, I never really saw the extreme appeal of the singles. But I know the Pokemon single market's a really big deal. I know it has been for a long time. Uh, wait, did I miss the foil? Oh, that's her foil. Okay. Rugged Helmet. That's cool looking, man. That's pretty neat. Oh, we got two foils in this one. Crap. Did I, did I skip some foils? We got a Beedrill. That's neat. Okay, so we had two foils in that. All right. Interesting. Yeah, I don't notice anything suspicious. And again, the gentleman might have just had one box that had just crappy ceiling, you know? We see that all the time in 2021 quality, folks. Yeah, <laughs> Doug Trio. Boy, that brings back memories, doesn't it, everybody? All right, I'm going to go back to opening from the tops. See if there's a difference on here. Actually, the packs, uh, I think more than anything, I'm just very impressed by the card quality. That's really got me shocked, everybody. That is just, these things are fantastic. They don't feel curled or messed up or, I mean, just really, the cards feel good. I don't remember them having this, I don't know, this gloss or this feel a long time ago, but it's been so long. I, you know, again, I could be wrong. So how many are we supposed to get per box? Ooh, a nice Haunter. Pretty neat looking. Ooh, look at this guy. That's cool. All right. Are we supposed to get, am I... Am I doing good or bad? I don't know if I... Is this a below average? Because we only had... I mean, we've only got one fancy full art thing. Is that is that considered... Are we below average or above average? I have no idea. Did I skip a foil? Okay. We got the Flannery single strike. And so we're only at one. And we're, what, a third? Or a quarter of the way through the box? So, I don't know. Is that is that below average, everybody? Somebody give me some feedback here. And Aaron. Okay. And pessimism. So I'm not seeing any other of the really fancy... I'm assuming the big money in the box all comes down to these, right? I'm assuming that's where essentially all the money is. So if we don't get those, I'm assuming... Oh, look at that. Cast form. Oh, what is that? Okay. Holy smokes. That's a crazy looking card. Is this good or bad? We got a Blaziken, huh? Dude, those things are wild looking. Okay. So we got two. Is that... I don't know if that's above or below, so we'll see at the end of the video here. You guys, are, you guys are gonna have to guide me. Just say, Rudy, stop poking your mom. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. We got a nice fur fur. I like that. Solipede and oh, the code in the back. So, anybody have any? Does this feel strange to you guys? Does this seem like a something shady or I don't know? 
All right, a bound suite. And, ah, another Doug Trio, Doug Trio. I remember that stuff. Crack me up, man. So we are about to approach um, two more packs, and then I think we're about to hit halfway to the box. Is that? A, oh, that's not a foil. Ah, the quail fish for the reverse reverser. Oh wait, so we got a reverse, and that's the regular. Oh wow, that is weird. There's like lines in it. That's neat. That's a kind of a neat little different type of foil. Okay. So, um, this is the official halfway point of the booster box. Um, this appears to be... Oh, that was a cute little squirrel. Did you guys see that squirrel? That's cute. So that's halfway. So we got two fancy full art dudes on the, fur, on the halfway point of the booster box. Uh, I'm going to have to Google to see if that's really bad. I don't know. Or if that's more than other people got. All right, here we go. <laughs> Tapu Fini. Cards are fun. I like the... All these... Feels like a lot more trainer cards than I remember as a kid. Seems different also. I don't know. Let's find out. Because like I said, we are... Foil... Oh, there we go. Foil cast form. And whoa! What the hell is that? Oh, it's Snorlax! The fat dude! Wow! Look at the colors! Oh my god. Is this a chase card? Dude, that is crazy feeling. Dude, that is neat. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Um, we're at three. That one feels different. Is that like one of the alternate secret special big chalupa pizza things? I don't know. But that seems like a pretty good pool. And we got a nice little, uh, little swirl axe. I like the subtle ones. I kind of, I know these create that, although I got to admit, that is wild looking. It's It's got a whole different like textured surface. That's pretty cool looking. But I really like the subtle ones. I, I like them a lot more than I thought. These like regular ones and like reverse kind of subtle type cards have a nice vibe to it, man. So I, I don't know. I like the. It's got. A, it just has like a classiness to it. it reminds me of like um like the way etching or cold foil should be done. You know, more subtle where it doesn't like overpower and like ruin the card. I don't know what all these rapid double crazy strike things mean. McLeon, McLeon. Okay. So we're only at three. I don't know if the average is supposed to be like 10. I don't know if the average is supposed to be lower. I'm not really sure where we are in relation to the average. Do people count the full arts? Do they count all the rares? I'm not really sure. Crushing gloves. Oh, look at that. There's another one of these weird Tauros fancy rares. Hollows, that's pretty spicy. That looks cool. Okay. All right. I don't know, kind of a nice change of pace video today. Oh, hold on guys, hit the camera. Don't want to knock the camera over, especially on a video like this. Oh, oh, there's something crazy coming. Holy smokes, what is this? The trainer, and then... Oh, look, it's two Melanies! Look at that! That's really cool. Look at that Melanie. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a... I know people are like, Ah, Rudy's gonna turn into a Pokemon guy! He's gonna turn into a Pokemon guy! Watch, I know. I gotta admit... I, I kind of, I get a little bit of the, the nostalgia, the vibes. I get a little bit of the funs, little funsies over here. I gotta admit, it kind of feels pretty cool. So as of right now, I'm not really sure what's going on here. This feels like a really good box opening, but then I could, oh my god, again? Meta, meta gross? So again, I'm going to assume here, maybe, maybe the guy had a bad box, maybe... There was because I've seen people do these things where like they open a whole box and they got like one fancy card, and maybe it was way below average, and then but the thing is now this box look at this stuff oh my, like the double foil ones are, are I'm assuming it's still it reminds me of the old school base set with like the, just the hollow right there oops foil goes up there, my theory right now is I think the gentleman may have just opened one box, not really gotten good pulls, and then. The boxes next to it now are getting better than average. Oh my god, are you serious? Holy smokes, this is nuts. So the first half of this box, we got nothing. We got the first half of the box, and when we hit one or two cards, so we didn't get anything good, or like, I don't know, maybe those were expensive. We hit two fancy cards in the first half. The second half, we're just getting piles of fancy stuff. So... I'm starting to think maybe there's more volatility to this stuff than I thought. I thought these were all pretty consistent. Rapid. These are adorable, man. Oh, look at the spirit bomb. That's cool. 
that's what I'm starting to feel is the uh, what's going on here. Because I don't see any concerns. Yes, the packs feel a little easier to open from the bottom like he claimed. But Doctor... Oh my god, there's another one? A Doctor and a whatever this Moltres V dude is. That's a lot. So... One, two, three, four, five... That is seven? Are we supposed to get that many? Because I remember in Magic, when I did mass box openings in Magic in the past... I would get like a box or like a case with like, I wouldn't get like a lottery card or a mythic back in, or a lower quantity of mythics. And then the very next box would be like an insane amount. Like you could see like a variance in it. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking we're experiencing something like this. Oh my, okay, this is just nuts now. Weeding gloves. Whoa! This is the crazy texture. So yeah, I'm thinking that we pulled. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. You're supposed to get eight in a box? That seems way too many. That just seems like way too many of them for a single box. So to me, this feels like this is this is opening is actually above average now. And I love the art though. Adorable art, man. The art just feels good. You gotta admit, I kinda like those uh the character, like with the the melody, like the full trainer ones. That's kinda cool looking too, man. And is that a foil? I think that's a yeah, that's like a subtle foil. Okay. Oops, sorry. Code card. And, uh... Alright, last two packs. I'll give you guys my final thoughts here. Overall, I mean, I'm gonna price check these cards after the video on TCG Player just to see, like, the value or what's going on here. Code card. Um, where's the foil? There it is. Ah, the Diglett again. Go with my Doug Trios. And, um, I'm thinking, um... I think he may have just opened a bad box and then kind of freaked out and panicked. That's what I'm starting to think right now. And, oh, last pack, and then on the shy, Shaman, wait a minute, isn't, wasn't the card like Roaring Skies or something? Oh, we got another one! Hat, Hatterene? That's pretty cool. So I'm thinking overall, I feel like this many for one box feels above average, but I don't know. Three, like eight in a single box feels way above average. And it, I gotta find out what the actual average is, because I'm, because I have seen that in cases before. Because I remember that it was a, that wasn't kind of an issue. Um, I think it was was it Kaladesh or or no? It was Oath of the Gatewatch. Where I did a, a Magic Mass box with me a long time ago, and we were hunting lottery cards. And I saw something similar where there'd be certain boxes or cases, and people would freak out because the wrapping was loose or packs would be less glue because just you know manufacturing variances. And then I remember I would open. I remember opening a whole case of six Oath of the Gatewatch and getting zero lottery cards. And then getting really pissed. And then I remember taking the very next case on that palette. And this was like a sealed Wizards of the Coast palette. In the very next case, I remember three lottery cards in six boxes. And I remember thinking, okay, so there's definitely times where if you just get bad luck and crack a single box, it was way below average. And then you get, then you can do the next one. Somebody else is going to get way above average. But again, on a large scale... I think there's not really anybody who comes out ahead. I think the law of large numbers kicks in. I'm going to price check these. And again, I apologize in advance if these are all like the worst cards in the set. And just, it's a bad video. Well, then, you know, sorry. But hey, we got a lot of cool flashy stuff. It felt like a good box opening to me. Uh, I'll reach back out to the gentleman. And um, I don't know. I'll see if he wants the cards back, I guess. I mean, I don't deal in Pokemon. I have no use for these. I mean, I... Don't even sell them on my eBay store. I don't sell them locally. I don't even have a singles Pokemon display. I don't have any of that. I don't deal in Pokemon singles. So I'm going to see if he wants all these because I don't want the single cards. I don't deal in this. I don't know anything about them. I'll price check each one. I'll see what he wants to do. So very interested to see the public feedback. Hope you guys learned something. As always, um, I think the big takeaway in this video, everybody, is you know when you run into anything weird, if the packs feel different. Actually, you know what? Hang on one second. I'm going to get a pack. I want to look at the glue. I want to check something real quick. He said the, the bottoms? I just want to see something real quick. Wait, is the top or the bottom? So this is the top. This is the bottom. Oh, wait, this bottom wasn't even open. Okay, so this is the bottom's open. No, that's about this. Yeah, that's... Where's the bottoms on mine? So this is the bottom of his. The bottom. 
No, it looks exactly the same. Hmm. All right, I just want to see if there was something. That's, did he open? I just want to see if there's anything weird. Um, are, there, are these organized? Let's see here. Are these backwards? Are these all facing? No, they're not in the same direction. All right. I was kind of hoping. So these, these, okay. So none of these bottoms. Oh wait, he did. These are all open. Never mind. They're all open on both sides. No, looks good. All right, thanks for learning, everybody. Hope you guys learned something today.